Hello and welcome back. And that is right, finally, 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 we got there. This is a USB 3.2 to 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter for about $30. We've been waiting for something like this for a long time. A number of you that are looking at your network attached storage system or your local PC system and are seeing you know, 2.5 GB, 5 GB, and 10 GB start to arrive on systems that you can't quite get on board because you don't have a PCI upgrade slot, they're going to be very interested in something like this. This isn't the first time we've talked about 5 GBE to USB adapters here on the channel. Indeed, we talked about them almost two years ago now with QNAP's own upgrade, but that was taking advantage of a quite, at that time, quite cutting edge hardware architecture that unfortunately did not come cheap. And a lot of users were looking at the price of 5 GBE to USB adapters and going, well, they're 60 to 80 quid, and for about 100 to 120, I can hop on 10 GBE, so why bother? So a lot of users held off. And now we are at the right point. This is the WavLink adapter, what a name, uh, and this system is completely fanless, it is silent, it is metal and plastic all the way around, taking advantage of bus power and passive cooling, and it takes advantage of a pretty cutting edge and new uh, Realtek controller, the RTL8157. It's a PCIe Gen 3x1 controller that allows you, over just utilization of 1.7 watts, the ability to add to a Windows system and to a Mac and Linux system 5GBE. Now, if that hasn't got your attention, I don't know what will. We've run tests on this already. We got this connected to a Windows system and connected to a Synology NAS, and I'm pleased to say in a RAID made up of SSDs, full saturation was incredibly easy. We were able to connect it, and straight away, we were ex exceeding that 500 megs, because remember, 5GB is not actually 500 megs, it's actually a great deal more. In the same way 2.5GB is actually a maximum saturation point of around 279 megabytes per second, 5GB is actually closer to 570, even 580 in some cases. And although Crystal Disk seems to go a bit nuts and give me 600 megs, the AJA repeated performance testing of a one gig file gave me repeated excess of 5,000 megabytes per second performance with this adapter on a Windows system. So why is this such a big deal? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, the price tag. Right now, if you do want to add 10 GBE to even a desktop system, you are looking at a spend of around 50 to 70 pounds, which although is you know, actually pretty cheap if you go for some of the budget options, if you go for some of the more robust options, you are looking closer to 70 to 100 dollars. Now, this arriving at 30, 35, and I looked on multiple sites, I found it on Alibaba, eBay, uh, even some AliExpress listings and more, all of them listing it at give or take, even Newegg as well, at between 39 and 39 dollars with the tax. That is not a lot of money to add five gigabit network into your system. But once you factor in that a lot of modern network attached storage systems are starting to arrive with 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports instead of one GBE because of the same cost of the NIC, that's already good news to maximize the bandwidth afforded to you and your data. But then you start looking at systems like the Locker Store that are coming out soon, the Gen 3 Locker Store. And that system, you know, by the end of the year has got two 5 GBE ports there. It's got 10 GBE as well, but it maximizes the bandwidth. There's going to be users watching this that think 5 GBE is just faddish. Much like they said about 2.5 GBE going, well, I either want one or I go straight up to 10. And bully for you, Scrooge McDuck, swim around in your pile of coins. But I would say if you do have a server system with some bandwidth going spare and the system integrators aren't able to add 10 GBE because there just isn't enough internal resource to do that, I would rather a system that's presented to me that maximizes the full extent of the bandwidth possible if that means upgrading to 2.5 and 5G rather than just sticking with 1G if 10G isn't possible. This adapter allows you to maximize the resource and the bandwidth not only on the server and the device you're connecting to, but also the client device you choose to use. And let's not overlook the fact that we're seeing increasingly faster internet connections arriving in the scene where a single gigabit network port on your system is limiting. I spoke to someone in France on a support call recently, if you know who you are, hello, and they had a five gig internet connection, which to me was bonkers here in the UK. But the fact still remains, they would need network adapters like this to really harness that through that network point into their uh, their hardware por uh, portfolio scattered around their office or even just one-to-one. -one. Ultimately, I don't have much more to say about this because as good as this Wavlink adapter is, we do know this is the first of a wave. They didn't invent that controller, it was Realtek. And that means as long as this is on the market, we're gonna to start to see a lot more affordable 5GB adapters 
coming very soon. I will say this is a good example of it. We took it apart, looked inside, and it's very well put together. They're very robust. On top of that, when we did have it connected, although I was slightly disappointed at the complete lack of USB Type A or even an adapter to change this into Type A, I do know that the majority of users using modern systems are probably going to take advantage of C anyway. That was really the only criticism I could level at it. And with a price point that it's arriving at that I think makes it an absolute no brainer to go for this over one or 2.5 GPE and the support of auto failover, jumbo frames, uh, um, configuration and more. This is a phenomenal example of upgrading your network connectivity on both your client system and on connected external systems very, very affordably. Now, we did need to download the drivers for the Windows system to take advantage of this. I could not find a NAS system that I could connect this to that would see it. It wouldn't work with the QNAP systems, even though QNAP have got their own 5G adapter, because it was a different real tech controller inside those. I haven't found the driver for this particular controller, that 8157, on the uh, collected operating systems of other NAS brands. The only one I could get close to was on Unraid. So at the moment, if you are thinking of getting this now to add it to your NAS system, it probably won't work on the NAS side. But certainly on the Windows or Mac or Linux client side, this is functional and drivers are available. Now there's links in the description so we can get hold of it. Again, if you're gonna to go to those stores anyway and you found the video helpful, fantastic, please use them. It supports what we do, we get a commission and it keeps me and Eddie doing this but other than that there's a written uh, uh there's a written article below if you want to check it out on those compares and apart from that i hope you've enjoyed this and i'll see you on the next video